Hi there, Captain Baker here in the SCBA shop. We're going to go over uh, the rollout which is going to be occurring of this new iTick by the time you see this, view, this video. We're going to be switching from this old one to the new one. The only difference in this is now this one has a thermal imaging camera in it. It is the iTick. You guys have already used this out in the field. It's quite simple. It only adds about four and a quarter ounces and just a little over an inch in length. So it's not a big bulky item that we've added here, but it does add to our capabilities in the field. We turn this, uh, this apparatus on just like you would any other time. All right. Let her power up. And you'll see your pressure reading as you turn this on. The one thing that we noticed is what you're used to with the old with the old system is that you push one button to tag in in the morning with with your fob. This one you have to push both of the buttons. Let it go through its bar. It's going to RFID in and there you have it. You're now tagged in in the morning. When you need to use the iTick you can toggle back and forth between the two screens as you see here. with just pushing, wait for the uh, thermal camera to warm up, and now you can go back and forth between some color palettes and you can use them to your advantage. One of the things you can do with this is, um, is look around for, for outlets or electrical fixtures um, and, uh, when you're checking out for some hot spots. It's probably recommended you stick with a, uh, with a two color color palette being black and white and whatever, whether you want to get the, the inverse or not when you're just doing regular firefighting activities but this does give you a whole range of uh, additional features here okay uh, train with this um, that's how we become proficient with anything uh, in company uh, in your station drills will be uh, very useful uh, I look forward to hearing your feedback have fun with the new tool